boy jumped off the cliff. In the nick of time, a big hand dragged him back to the ground. It turned out to be the old monk from the private kitchen. The monk scolded him for his lack of talent. The boy blamed the monk for not knowing anything, and he was meddling in his own business. But the monk told him why he jumped off the cliff. The boy was dumbfounded. He asked the monk how he knew. The monk said you were clipping your nails at night, when you were about to throw them out. I tried to persuade you not to throw it, but as soon as I turned my back, you threw it into the wild. Late at night, a thousand-year-old mouse ate your nails. It took your shape and came back to your house, and replaced you. The boy came to his senses. He apologized for what he had done. Kneeling down, he begged the monk for a way out. Then the monk took out an orange cat, and handed it to the boy, and said to put it next to the dummy. A few moments later, the boy returned home with the orange cat. The housekeeper opened the door and saw him. He laughs at him like a madman. He said he wasn't welcome here. Even the little donkey couldn't stand it. He rushed over and kicked the housekeeper in the back, and sent the housekeeper flying several meters away. The boy rushed into the house with the orange cat in his arms. When the fake boy saw the orange cat, he was devastated. He hugged his father to death. Then the boy released the cat in his hand. The cat smelled the rat and ran straight to the fake boy. When the boy saw it, he ran away. The orange cat is right behind him. The two of them went round and round in the yard. In a moment of desperation, the fake boy runs for his life on all four legs. But mice are no match for cats. The orange cat swoops down and bites him. The fake boy screamed. With a flash of light, the fake boy turned into a big rat. Everyone was dumbfounded. The couple realized they were wrong about their son. The boy returned to his mother's arms. The father apologized for his behavior. So do you remember where you throw away all the fingernails you cut at night?